So LVI stands for Live Volumetric Imaging. In other words, real-time ultrasound imaging in 3D. LVI is, uh, the, the key to LVI is an, is an innovative breakthrough ultrasound transducer technology that we've developed at RTI. And this enables us to miniaturize the size of the ultrasound transducer device uh, to be able to enable real-time 3D imaging from a catheter device. The way this device would be used is that the, the ultrasound catheter would be placed in the right atrium. It would be positioned to look to basically point at the target they're looking at. It might be a mitral valve or an aortic valve or the pulmonary veins. And it produces this pyramidal shaped view instantaneously while the heart's beating. And that image can be manipulated with the ultrasound imaging system by rotating the volume, cutting into the volume at any arbitrary angle, and rotating, for example, a plane or any, any image within the volume in real time to give a surgeon a different vantage point without having to reposition the catheter. The vantage point can be changed, so it's sort of like a camera doing a fly-through in the heart. A typical procedure that a cardiologist might use this for would be an interventional procedure to treat, for example, atrial fibrillation, which is a common cardiac arrhythmia. Currently, they do not have imaging of the, of the soft tissue that they're ablating and, and a current, an adequate imaging of where the ablation catheter is with respect to where they're trying to ablate into the tissue. So this volume view can give them a real-time image of where the cardiac catheter tip is in relation to the, to the objects that they're trying to ablate, which in this case would be the pulmonary veins. The interventionalist really wants to have a, a, a 3D imaging modality that's in control of the interventionalist, that's just another catheter device that can be placed inside of the heart, left alone, making images while he's doing the surgery. Just makes it a much simpler and more effective procedure. This work started with a research grant from the National Institutes of Health. And basically it was a collaboration with Duke University where they've been doing 3D ultrasound for many, many years. And there was really a limitation in the transducer devices themselves, in the, basically the ability to miniaturize the performance of the devices that you would get out of them when you try to miniaturize them, uh, because they were interested in developing catheter-based imaging tools. So my background being in electronic materials and microelectromechanical systems had an idea for producing a microelectromechanical device that was made uh, using a semiconductor manufacturing techniques. And this is different from current ultrasound transducers, which are machine ceramic devices. Uh, so by applying semiconductor type manufacturing techniques, we can use photolithographic processes to pattern the ultrasound transducer arrays and miniaturize the element size to be able to get a higher element density within the catheter to produce the matrix arrays that are required for 3D imaging in a device that fits inside of a catheter, which may be as small as three to four millimeters in diameter for an intracardiac catheter. This transducer uh, device is manufactured in our clean room here at RTI. We can produce these arrays in silicon wafers, where each silicon wafer can contain several hundred transducer arrays, and each batch of silicon wafers can contain thousands of transducer arrays that are manufactured in one batch. And additionally, we produced uh, the interconnect and cabling technology that's needed to connect all of the individual transducer elements in the, in the device uh, with signal cabling that then runs the length of the catheter and connects the transducer to the ultrasound system. The next stage of development for LVI would be working toward the product development stages of the technology. Basically, this device would have to be approved by the FDA. Um, our initial target would be a first in human study where we actually get an investigational device approval from the FDA and be able to use the device on a few patients in the hands of one of the cardiologists that we've worked with in the past to show the utility on human patients for real intracardiac procedures. And then beyond that, the next step for LVI is RTI is actively seeking partners to commercialize this technology and bring it to market.